Today, I'm helping my friend Lisa upgrade her vanity space with an epic DIY vanity makeover. This is part of a much larger series called Buy or DIY, which you can check out here. But this is behind the DIY. All the materials for this project have been outlined below and you can find a full step-by-step -step at thecoralchannel.com. Make sure you guys are subscribed because we love to have you back every week and click on that bell notification so you always know when we upload a new video. The first thing we need to do is create our rose gold frame. For this project, I have sourced a 30 by 40 inch frameless mirror. Measure and mark your border using a washable marker. I'm measuring four inches, but feel free to measure your mirror frame to the width of your liking. Place strips of painter tape along your marked points to create the border. So now I'm just taking some paper and I'm just going to cover up the middle section so that I can spray paint this mirror. Why? Why paper, why? Can you tell that I don't wrap Christmas presents? Nightmare. Bring this outside and give this a spray paint. The space that I'm DIYing in this has a desk with a glass top. So I'm putting a custom wallpaper underneath. As a true DIYer would do, I'm DIYing my own stamps. First you wanna print out your design or draw it to the desired size. I also have my stamp carving block. It kind of feels like an eraser, but it's not. I have my transfer paper. Place the piece of transfer paper, which you can find at a sewing or craft store between the printout and the stamp carving block and trace over the design. Now when I take my piece off and I lift my transfer, you can see your pattern. How cool is that? Using a lino cutter, I'm carefully gonna carve away the block material from the design. Start with your smallest blade and work your way up to the bigger blade. And then just trim away any of the excess material. <laughs> Isn't that nice? That's perfect. All we need to do now is just hot glue on your rubber stamp to a scrap piece of wood. And now you have a stamp you can keep forever. So what I have in front of me is a beautiful piece of rice paper. I love rice paper, it's got a nice texture to it. So now all you need to do is just measure and cut your paper to the size of your desktop. I'm using a rose gold stamp and I'm just stamping on the design that I want onto the paper. Oh, that looks so good. Stamps are not always perfect, so sometimes you just have to embrace that unfinished look. But overall, just work your way across the paper until you're happy with it. Set this aside and let it dry. I'm gonna bring back my mirror, which should have dried now, and we can pop on our vanity lights. I'm so excited! And I'm just going to take off my tape. Place the lights onto the mirror where you'd like them. Definitely make sure there's one in each corner. That's a must. Each of these lights attach with these two sides. So you just keep attaching it. Take each light and bring it off the mirror so that we don't have a long strand coming through each one. Peel and stick your vanity lights evenly around the frame and attach onto your mirror. So I've ordered this awesome vanity bulb kit online. I've linked the kit that I'm using down below. Okay, the big moment. Three, two, one. Oh, wait. Ah. How amazing does that look? To polish this mirror off, I've taped off all the excess cords to the back of my mirror and painted the exposed wire a shimmery copper. As a last final thing, I just went to my local dollar store and picked up some makeup organizers. I've just applied a bit of sandpaper covered in rose gold paint and they just look amazing. <laughs> this completely transforms an entire space. We have a beautiful customized rose gold vanity mirror, a great customized wallpaper underneath that glass top, and we have these DIY makeup organizers. So this DIY has it all. 
If you love this project, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and let me know what you would put on your wallpaper. How would you create your own DIY stamp? Let me know in the comment section below and I will see you guys next week.